So this is not my backyard. This is the top of Bald Peat Mountain. <laughs> Cookie loves it here and so do I. So today we um, hiked up to the top of Bald Peat Mountain. And that's Pennsylvania off in the distance. And um, we're sitting underneath a honey locust tree surrounded by buttercups. And as usual, Cookie lays at my feet. And it reminded me of something last week that I wanted to share. And we were sitting in our backyard and she is being plagued by biting flies, mosquitoes, bees, I don't know what was bothering her. And um, she got up and she came over and she laid down at my feet, actually laid down on top of one of my feet. And it it brought to mind uh, that story in Luke when Mary and Martha anticipate the visit from Jesus Christ and the one is running around making preparations and getting busy and the other one is sitting at Jesus feet and, and he says that she chose the better way and I appreciate the fact that God reminds me of his word in such subtle little ways. You know, Cookie picked a better way, laying at my feet, and I was able to protect her from the flies because I would shoo them away from her. And it just, it hit home that lesson of rather than worry about preparations, let's sit at Jesus' feet because that's a better place to be. Because with this coronavirus thing, I've been, you know, as much as I'm telling people relax, God's got this, I've also been kind of freaking out like, oh, we got to buy property in Pennsylvania so we can grow food. No, we got to stockpile this. Oh, we got to stockpile that because we'll be okay for the summer, but this winter it's going to stir back up again. And, and as much as I'm preaching to other people to, to relax, God's got this and just whatever he puts before us, stay on the path and he'll protect us. There's this other part of me that wants to panic and prepare and run around like crazy and stockpile and move out in the woods and and again Cookie reminded me that the safest place to be is at the feet of Jesus Christ because he's got this and if we focus on him we'll be okay and I thank God for the subtle gentle reminders that he gives me every day because if somebody tried to shove it down my throat I probably wouldn't listen as well as when he gives me little lessons and reminds me how important it is to be at his feet because I look at my little dog and I know the best place for her is at my feet. The best place for me is at Jesus' feet. And thank you for this beautiful mountain and this wonderful honey locust tree that I'm sitting under. And, uh, and for Bald Pate Mountain. And thank you for letting us sit at your feet. In Jesus' name.